Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about One UI 6.0 and Android 14. Many Samsung Galaxy smartphones are going to get One UI 6.0, and they're going to inherit a whole bunch of Android 14 features that I'm going to show you in this video today. So let's dive in and get started right away. Now, first and foremost, Android 14 is going to be officially released towards the end of July or sometime in August and right after One UI 6.0 is going to follow. So it's only a couple months away before we get to see these features. Now over here, I have a Pixel 7 Pro, okay? And this is running Android 14. And right over here, I have a Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. This is running Android 13. We have the Android 14 beta running on the Pixel. So I'm gonna show you all the features, the Android 14 features on this phone that are gonna make their appearance on this phone once this phone gets One UI 6.0 sometime after July. But also what I'm gonna show you guys is there's a couple Android 14 features already present in the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra that you can benefit from right now. But anyway, let's dive in and get started with feature number one. The feature number one actually has to do with the back gesture feature. This is something that's gonna come to the Samsung phone as well with One UI 6.0. So basically, let me show you what I'm talking about. So I'm in the settings right now. Let me just go to the battery over here. Now, when I use gesture navigation and I try to go back, you can see as I go back, I get a quick preview of the previous menu into which I'm supposed to go if I let this go, okay? So let's take a look at it again. If I swipe and hold it, it kind of shows me the preview of what I'm about to go back to, but it doesn't actually go there until I let this go. So let me show you that one more time. Tap on storage, slightly go back. It gives you the preview of the previous screen. If I let go, I'm there. Now currently with Samsung uh, and every other Android phone basically, you get to see that arrow, okay? But it doesn't show you what you're gonna see if you go back, okay? So I don't know why they added that, but it's a feature that is available and you are gonna be able to activate this feature. Now this feature is not owned by default. You have to go, after you get Android 14, you do have to go into developer options, uh, which is gonna be right here at the bottom. Developer options on Samsung is gonna be at the bottom as you can see. But somewhere at the bottom, it's gonna say predictive back animations. This has to be enabled. So let me show you. If I go back now, oops, right here. If I go back, I'm seeing a prediction. But if I disable this, I'm not going to see that prediction, okay? I basically see what I see right here, just a back arrow. Oop, cancel. So in this case, if I disable this, you're not gonna see it. So it's an option you're gonna be able to modify in Samsung once it gets Android 14. Now on top of that, in addition, uh, the back button also gets something really special. So what happens is when you push it back, it actually inherits the current color scheme of your phone, and that's also gonna come to this phone as well. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So if I go press and hold here, and if I tap on wallpaper and style, and if I go into the uh, colors here, let's just pick this theme right here. So let me go to wallpaper colors and I'm gonna pick a color scheme here to apply as a theme uh, to my entire system. You saw it just changed it. Now when I go back here, the arrow, the back arrow also is going to inherit that pink color scheme that I just picked, okay? So that's gonna be a modification that's also gonna be inherited by us, uh, One UI 6.0. Okay, so let me just show you one more here. Let's do yellowish thing here. Okay, now when I do this, you can see that arrow now also has that uh, slight green yellow look to it. So that's good. That's material UI giving you further personalization, even at the level of a back button animation. Now, while we are talking about the color schemes, let me just go here into the wallpaper and style. And you can see we have a color palette here and we have basic colors or wallpaper colors and we have the same situation happening here. Now with Android 14, you are gonna get under basic colors, you are gonna get this brand new black and white theme, okay? So when you tap this guy, basically the whole phone gives you a black and white look. So black, white, when I go to the settings, overall it's white, but the fonts are all black. 
uh, all the animations, all the graphics, they're black. So you get this brand new uh, black and white theme under basic colors, which is going to show up right here uh, on Samsung phones as well. Now the next thing that's going to be changing is the reset menu. So let me just go to the settings here. I'm going to go into reset. Okay, so let's go into reset menu, uh, which is right here. So that's our regular reset menu. And with the enhanced reset menu, we are going to get some more options uh, that make logical sense. So if I go to reset, uh, when you go to reset options, now what you have is you have the ability to reset mobile network settings and Bluetooth and Wi-Fi settings separately right off the bat. If I tap on reset network settings, it does Wi-Fi, mobile data, and Bluetooth. But now with the new option, it's going to be separated so it can fix Bluetooth and Wi-Fi independently of the mobile network settings. And that's going to reflect in this menu once we get One UI 6.0. Now, one more thing that's very subtle is when you take a screenshot, let me take a screenshot, oops, like this. So I took the screenshot, I'm going to go inside it, and you can see we have the pens at the bottom. Let me take a screenshot here as well, real quick. Oops, like this, and I'm going to tap on this. Now you can see we have the pen button here to edit stuff, okay? However, here when you go to the pen, you can see it already has a preview of what color is selected. It's blue. So if I tap it, and if I go with the red one, you can see it shows that the red color is there by default. And if I tap it again, if I go for yellow, that's going to show up there as well. Uh, and then, of course, you can start writing or whatever. Let me just do the red. Okay. But that's nice little subtle animation that I'm not seeing on this side uh, when I do a screenshot. Now, here is a new feature on Android 14 that already exists on the Samsung One UI 5. But it is going to be very interesting to see how they're going to implement that over here. So if you go to notifications... And if you scroll down, you now have this brand new flash notifications option right in the notification panel. If I tap on it, what you can do is you can enable camera flash. So that's going to, so when you enable this, when you get a notification, the camera light is going to flash twice. Or you can do the screen flash option. Okay, so you can pick a color and that color is just going to make the screen flash when you get a notification. That's going to be on the front. The flash notification is going to be on the back. You can have them both enabled at the same time. And if I tap on preview, you can see screen flash, yellow. Let's do the red preview. You can see I got the yellow. And if I do the camera flash, it's just going to flash the camera in the back. Let's see if it's happening. Yep. You can see that tiny flash in the back. Okay. All right. So we have this feature on the Samsung already, but it's a little bit different. It's actually in a different location. You have to go to the accessibility, which is right here, then go to advanced settings, and then go to flash notification, and it's hidden inside. You can see it's almost the same exact thing right here. Camera flash notification. As you can see, you are able to customize which app it works with if that's something that you desire. But you also have that preview button. I guess this is just going to be exactly the same way as before. Now the next feature that we're going to be talking about has to do with the battery. So let me go to the settings over here. Okay, and we are going to go to the battery. And when I go into battery saver, now I'm not sure how this is going to reflect on One UI 6.1, but let's, let's go to the battery uh, over here as well. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. So over here, when you go to battery saver, now, the extreme battery saver is front and center. In addition to standard battery saver, now Samsung has had battery savers for a long time. So if I tap here, and if I go into my power savings, I've got this option here, but we might actually get an extreme battery saver that also gets added over here as well. But you can see if I tap on this option here, that's a standard battery saver if I enable this, okay? Uh, this one is going to be extreme, so it's just going to disable a lot of stuff on the phone to maximize battery savings if you are in a pinch. Now, one more change we are going to see is we're going to see a change in the fingerprint registration menu. So I have it right here. You can see when, when I go back here and I add a fingerprint on One UI 
5.0. It doesn't show much other than the fact that I'm just putting my finger somewhere. It does move the sensor around so it captures different areas of your finger. Uh, with this one, when I tap on add a fingerprint, what it's going to do is take a look at this. When I press and hold, it gives me a graphic. It shows me how to put my finger. So it wants me to put this portion of my finger onto the sensor. Okay, so you keep doing that. And looks like there are some bugs here. You can see the text is behind it. But we might get this graphic somewhere here, even though I like this implementation because we have a large ultrasonic fingerprint sensor. When you press it, it kind of moves around. So you feed different parts of your finger by default. So this might be a better implementation, but we might get this graphic somewhere here regardless. So that graphic is new. You can see it is buggy. The text is behind the actual graph. Point 14 is when you go to settings, okay, uh, if you go into security, for example, right here, you are going to see we have some brand new graphics here, some brand new drawings. So if I go to app security, you can see we have new drawings. Now, Samsung has been having their own for a while now. So if I go to security and privacy, and if I go to app security, this is what I see. But perhaps with One UI 6.0, once they implement the changes here, they might give us some new graphics that show up over here uh, as well. As of now, it is just simplified into a smaller menu. With this one, you have these graphics as you can see. Here's Google Play Protect. Here's Google Play Protect. You can see it is a definitely a different look. But again, that's One UI and that's stock Android. But I do like the graphics. I do think they're a little bit too big. Maybe make it a little bit more compact and get me some more data on the actual screen system and updates i've got this thing right here over here you tap on it it just expands and gives you some other uh, information okay all right so that brings us to the end of this video i'm sure there's going to be some more features added to android 14 right now i have android 14 beta 2 on this one but the things i showed you guys are going to in be inherited by one ui 6.0 on samsung phones in one fashion or the other any questions comments or concerns Drop them down below. Let me know for now, guys. Have a fantastic day, all right?